Hey, how's it going? It's Jared from Marigold Library System. For today's craft, we're going to be making tin can snare drums. So let's get started. To make your tin can snare drum, you'll need a tin can, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, packing tape, thread, small beads, ribbon, string, or yarn, two to three rubber bands, a medium to large balloon, and something to drum with. Now, ideally, you'll have drumsticks, but if you don't have drumsticks, you can use wooden spoons or any wooden utensil. Step one is gonna be removing both sides of your tin can. And once you've done that, you're gonna take your packing tape and you're gonna pull it across one end of the tin can. But you have to make sure that you pull it tightly so that there's no slack in the packing tape. Once you've finished covering one side of your tin can with packing tape, you can flip it over and wrap this end with your balloon. So how you're going to do this is you're going to cut your balloon just around the end of the neck portion. And if you feel like you don't have enough space, or if you feel like it's not stretching out enough, then what you do is you cut just a little bit further down and you keep repeating this process until your balloon can fit over this end of your tin can. Just like that. Now, if you're struggling to get your balloon to fit, you may need to blow it up a few times to let it stretch out a little bit more. Next, take one rubber band and wrap it around your balloon. This will help hold it in place, and then you can start pulling your balloon down even more because you want this surface of your balloon to be completely flat. Once your balloon is pulled tightly across the open end of the tin can, you can take your thread and put one end halfway across the side of your tin can and then you can cut your thread so that it is halfway across the other side of the tin can. The snare of your snare drum is going to be made with your thread and your small beads. So what you're going to do is you're going to thread one small bead, then you're going to tie a knot around the first bead once one bead is tied to your thread, you can cover half the thread with beads and then tie another bead to the other end. Once you're finished, take your thread and beads and lay them over the balloon side of your snare drum. Then take a rubber band and wrap it around your snare drum so that the thread is held in place. Then if you have a second rubber band, you can do the same with this one but put it farther down your snare drum. Now take your ribbon, string, or yarn and tie a knot at one end. Then hot glue your ribbon, string, or yarn close to the packing tape side of your snare drum. You can change the sound of your snare drum by loosening or tightening your snare. I hope you have fun with your tin can snare drum. And if you like the video, make sure to subscribe and check out marygoldprograms.ca for more programs, challenges, and activities. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.